Okay, if you're going to use the Molcom PLC, the first thing you want to do is open up the Molcom Studio. I've got a folder created on my computer just for the Molcom icon because I've got so much clutter on my desktop. So I'm going to open this up and you'll come up with this screen. Now to run a program for the first time, you'll probably have to go into the tools the COM port settings, and this is after you've installed the USB driver, and you're going to have to select a COM port. And here I've got mine set up for three. If you don't have a COM port available, you won't see anything in here. And that's common if you don't run the USB driver. So make sure that you've got a COM port selected. Then you can go into the project, and you're going to start a new project. You want to do this every time you go into the software. So we're going to write a program called output card test. I've got a syncing output card. I want to test it, make sure that the code's working. I've got a good connection to the PLC. So the best thing to do is just write some code, test some code on the card, and see if you can get the indicator light on the port to blink. So I'm going to start that project. And if you notice, it brings up some skeleton C code very basic, just the basic commands to get a program running. It has the include moacom 500.h statement and it has um, the main function, but they call it cmain in moacom. Well, I've already got some code that I actually cut out of the, the PDF manual, so I'm going to go ahead and paste that code in here. And there it is. No sense in typing a whole bunch of code from scratch if you can avoid it. It's good, a lot of good code to start with for a program if you just go into the PDF version of the manual. So this code is designed to drive uh, output on a card hooked to slot 20 on the card rack. And one of the inconsistencies in the software is there's a command you have to use called port init and you can see that on line 4 of this code but it says port init 2 comma 0 which means initialize ports 20 to 27 so you're using a 2 to initialize ports 20 through 27 but if you look at the actual code when we specify an output port on the card we specify the actual card number the slot number which is 20 and 20 would be the first output on the card in slot 20. So we'll talk about that a little bit and we'll go over the code here and talk about what it does. And once you've got your code, all you really have to do is hit the run button to download your code. And if it, everything's good, if your PLC is on and uh, everything else is good, you should see a window pop up that says you're downloading. And at the bottom of the Mocon Studio, you should see zero errors, zero warnings, downloads complete. And if that works, then you should see the card, the output on your card, blinking at a rate of 100 milliseconds on and 100 milliseconds off. So this is a good way to get started with the, the, the software and the PLC. Make sure that your PLC is working fine, it's hooked up. If this doesn't work, this code doesn't work, it means you've either done something wrong, you've entered something wrong in the software, or it could be you don't have power to your PLC, or it could be you have your card in the wrong slot, but there's several things you can look for to verify that you've done things right. So the next thing we're going to do is look at uh, the code and break it down a little bit and make some sense of it.